Hi friends, thanks for stopping by to see what Keith had to say today. Hey, I just got a haircut and I'm in the truck getting ready to leave and head back to the house. And um, I, There's something that's been on my mind uh, the last yesterday and today and um, I, I just wanted to share with you this quick scripture. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2. 29. I think that's where it's at. Um, I didn't I didn't look it up to refresh my memory, but I know what the scripture is I want to share. And it says, uh, be careful what you say. Let no uh, foolishness or, or uh, awkward talk, I think is one of the translations, come from your mouth. But let only what you say bring edification to the hearer. Now, what brought this to my mind is, of course, even though Jesus at times would sp spoke harshly, I mean, he told uh, Peter, get behind these sa me, Satan. And uh, whether he was calling him Satan or not, I'm, I'm not going to go in that story. But the point is that Jesus said what needed to be said, but he did it in such a way that it wasn't crude, rude, or, or foolishness. And the scripture says that we should be Christ-like in all things. Now, what really brought this whole scripture to my mind was the other day I saw uh, some soldiers uh, in a store, and um, as we started to walk by, they, they were focused on what they were doing, uh, but in my heart, I remembered that my son is in the military. I got a niece in the military, and a lot of the other kids in that generation and our family have been in the military or are still now. And a lot of times they're they're alone. They're in a place where, um, uh, in fact, the base where my son is at, actually it wasn't his base, it was the next base over on the same island that he's on. Uh, there was protesters and they were speaking evil against the military. They were speaking harsh things. I saw a deal in the news the other day where uh, a soldier was in line in a restaurant and, and he said, do, do you give military discount? And the person behind him just said, huh, what do you think? Just because you wear some kind of uh, costume, I think is what they use the term costume instead of uniform, that you get a 10% discount on your meal. And uh, um, I, th I thought how sad that is. We honor those in military. We honor those uh, that serve, whether they be um, police officers, any kind of law enforcement, first responders, fire department, ambulances. They're doing an extra job. They're doing something harder than what you or I have ever done, probably. Um, I was in uh, the Sheriff's Reserve for a few years in my way younger days, and not everybody speaks nice to these people who put their life on the line for you and I. I want to encourage you, every time you see someone that's a first responder or military, give them thanks. Thank them for serving. I make a habit of always saying to anybody, even veterans who are wearing uh, uh, hats that say veteran Vietnam or veteran Korea or, or just veteran, whatever they may be, I honor them and I say thank you for serving because it's a Christ-like attitude. We should love and respect those. Go out of your way. You know, I even tell the mailman, thank you for your service. Um, uh, every once in a while, I'll run into the garbage truck and I will wave and smile at the guy, thanking them for what they're doing because there's people in all sorts of jobs that are doing things that we are not having to do. And I want to know, I want you to know that it is the will of God that you honor and respect people and speak only that which edifies them and encourages them. They probably need a little extra for that that they don't get. Do you understand what I'm saying? Love one another even as Christ loves the church. Speaking with your mouth that brings edification and encouragement. Well, that's all I had to say today. I just hope this encourages somebody. And if you're a, a, a veteran or military or you're a first responder, I want you to know I thank you for what you do. God bless you. And may he bring joy and peace and encouragement into your life. And if somebody does speak naughty to you, just remember that what Keith says is speaking edification and encouragement to you. I love you. Thank you. Don't forget to stop by the website. Georgina's pre uh, produced a, a, a great new teaching the other day. It's only like 10 minutes long. 
and it's called Five Stones. I encourage you, go to the website, check it out. Five Stones, it's powerful. It's got another one that I'll be posting in a couple of days, and it, it's just it's it's just awesome about the giants in your land. God bless you. Thanks for coming by. Touchstonesnetwork.org is the place for encouragement, revelation, hope, and blessings in the name of the Lord. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. Bye now.